I didn't think the NVIDIA RTX launch could get any more complicated or crazy than it already has been, but today we've had some pretty significant breaking news with the cancellation of two different GPUs that were supposed to be coming out in December. If you're surprised, I'm also surprised. Let's talk about the ramifications of this. Hey guys, Thiago here with Classical Technology. Remember to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Makes me happy. Subscribe if you like the content. We talk a lot about market analysis and other PC hardware. So let's get right into it. So the breaking news from the website Video Cards is that apparently NVIDIA has canceled plans for the RTX 3080 20 gigabyte VRAM version as well as the 16 gigabyte VRAM 3070 Ti. Now, this is going to be some major news because it has so many ramifications in terms of how that relates to the current 3080, how that relates to the GPUs that AMD are releasing, and also it's probably a telltale sign that things really are in very limited stock. So let's talk about some of the most important things that you should know about this new development. First of all, the 3080 20 gigabyte VRAM version was something that actually a lot of people we're looking forward to not only is it another potential graphics card on the market making it a little bit easier to perhaps get stock but a lot of people were a little bit upset that the 3080 only has 10 gigabytes of vram and it is the higher quality um, memory it's going to be the gddr6x which is going to be the higher quality and faster vram as opposed to the 3070 which is only going to have eight gigabytes of the regular gddr6 and of course the 3090 also has this faster RAM so people were actually looking forward to the 20 gigabyte VRAM version just because even though the 10 gigabyte VRAM is actually technically enough to play almost any game out today in 4k in terms of future proofing we could see some issues coming up with VRAM and the VRAM allocation in certain games if the VRAM amount isn't higher um, some people can experience some bottlenecking issues now let's say if they're running like flight simulator 2020 at 4k completely maxed out and of course if you want to get into 8k gaming that's why the 3090 has really been sort of a the poster boy for anything that has to do with 8k gaming even though it's still very rare and basically just for show so anyway people were excited about the 20 gigabyte vram 3080 version just because of the potential for some great future proofing of course today you're gaming in 4k but we don't know how fast technology is going to go what about in two years maybe 8k might actually be viable and you may still have your 3080 20 gigabyte version and you're certainly going to be a lot more future proof with that rather than just the 10 gigabyte vram version that we have today so while 99.9% .9 of high-end gamers are absolutely fine with the 10 gigabyte version of the 3080, especially taken into consideration, it does have the faster version of that RAM. It's really not like a huge deal. I don't think the 20 gigabyte VRAM version was something absolutely essential. Of course, like I said, if you're pushing the limits, you really want a future proof, it's gonna be a little bit nicer to have that. But in the real world, it isn't as big of an issue as we may think, but it's still fairly shocking that Nvidia can Cancelled this GPU because also people maybe were hoping that by December when uh, this GPU was supposed to be released along with the 3080 Ti version that would have 16 gigabytes of VRAM people thought that maybe stock issues would be further resolved by then and Nvidia releasing a new 20 gigabyte GPU would mean that maybe they've caught up with the 3080 maybe stock isn't as bad and people can actually get their hands on their cards I know that 10 gigabyte versus 20 gigabyte is not as big of a deciding factor for people as is in stock or sold out that's certainly going to be the number one factor it doesn't matter which one you prefer if you can't get either or if you can only find one so that's certainly a very important point to consider now apparently the major reason for this cancellation will most likely be tied to the shortage of the GDDR6X RAM which like we mentioned before is going to be the more potent faster VRAM that's in the current 3080 as well as in the 3090. So that being very scarce and I'm sure they've been focusing everything they have to try to keep up with demand of the 3080. 3090 not so much because it's more of like a niche card. I really don't think they plan to sell nearly as many of those of course as the 3080. 
3080 just due to the price performance. 3080 is a fantastic price to performance GPU. Um, and that's another reason why people were actually a little bit excited for this 20 gigabyte VRAM version, just because in between the 699 MSRP of the 3080 and the 1499 MSRP of the 3090, there exists a huge gap in pricing where something like a 20 gigabyte VRAM version, even if it came in at around maybe a thousand dollars, would fill in that gap before a possible 3080 Ti or something like that. So a lot of people were actually looking for that in-between card to give them a little more future proofing, a little more performance. And now that it's completely sold out, we can kind of see the seriousness of the stock situation as well as the availability of these type of memories to go into these GPUs. Of course, Nvidia is a business. They'd rather make as many as they can sell. So for them to cancel a product like this, and remember this 20 gigabyte VRAM version was never gonna be sold directly by Nvidia as a founder's edition. Um, according to what I've seen, it seems like it was basically gonna be a third party only GPU. So somewhere like Asus or EVGA, um, so NVIDIA never was going to sell it as a Founders Edition, but it certainly was going to be one more SKU out there, one more release that people hopefully would be able to get more stock of. And now we must also remember this is a fairly high-end GPU. In fact, aside from the 3090, this was going to be the next big boss GPU. So understandably, not that many people were going to buy it anyway. I mean, it's pretty much for the very high-end gamer, just because it's probably coming in at around a thousand bucks. So that's not necessarily the most important factor here. It's what it's gonna indicate for the cheaper GPUs down the line. Like we mentioned, the 3070 Ti version was supposed to come out with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and most likely this would not be the X variant of the faster VRAM. But of course, if they don't have a faster 3080 20 gigabyte, makes no sense for them to release a faster 3070 with 16 gigabytes of VRAM while the vanilla 3080 just has 10 um, that would just probably cannibalize some sales and it wouldn't really look too good having the higher end GPU have less VRAM so I think by design they have to kind of cancel the 3080 Ti as well of course the 3070 is still coming that's going to have 8 gigabytes of the GDDR6 RAM just a regular speed RAM that hasn't been canceled at all but as we know, that GPU was postponed from its October 15th release date all the way up to October 29th. So that shows you all these very, you could almost say historic and unique things happening in the GPU market. We have all of the stock issues with bots and very low availability. We have the RTX 3070 uh, release date actually being moved up. Now we have even NVIDIA saying that until 2021, GPU stock is going to be very, very low. And of course, now we have this massive potential announcement that the NVIDIA RTX 3080 20 gigabyte VRAM version is canceled and along with it, the 3070 Ti. So that begs the question, if they're going far enough to cancel this, what about AMD? For a while, I thought that the RTX 3080 20 gigabyte VRAM version was going to be NVIDIA's answer to whatever Big Navi had. Because as we know from all of the leaks and speculation, it seems like the RDNA 2 Big Navi will have around 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So it only made sense if that's going to come out sometime in November. It only made sense NVIDIA was going to respond in December with the more powerful 20 gigabyte version. But now that's off the table. That shows you that the stock issues and availability is certainly a lot more serious in that NVIDIA doesn't really care to respond to what AMD does because they're so caught up in trying to ramp up manufacturing and get access to, to memory that it really becomes of secondary importance. You could also speculate and say maybe Big Navi is also going to have some major launch issues. We know the demand is super high, so we can only assume that if NVIDIA is pulling this move of removing the, the 20 gigabyte, they're basically doing a type of triage here, trying to find something that they can take out so at least they can focus all of their memory, all of their manufacturing, maybe on the 3080 and the 3070 that are already out and the 3070 coming out. So that shows you that maybe they're not as scared of whatever AMD is coming out, um, not only because of the performance, maybe it's not going to be as groundbreaking. NVIDIA knows they have a very strong hold on the market. But also, let's not fool ourselves here. If NVIDIA is having stock issues and you know trouble getting access to memory, 
why would AMD be any better? Um, I know that they recently released that letter saying that they want all of their reseller partners to take care with bots, CAPTCHA, make sure the process is smoother, but all that is a moot point if they don't have nearly as much stock, just because the demand is gonna be, I think, truly phenomenal, even for these AMD GPUs. So Nvidia probably thinks when AMD announces their GPUs, of course, they're gonna have maybe 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which will technically beat the 3080. And as we saw on AMD's own benchmarks, the big Navi RX 6000 series is already kind of competing with the 3080 fairly nicely. It seems like it beats it in certain games. But having said that, if Nvidia thinks that AMD is not gonna have enough stock to really put a dent in their market share anyway, I think that's why they probably go through with this plan. They kind of bulldoze through it and try to focus really on the common denominator, maybe something that can actually deliver on, which is current 3080s, as well as the 3070, which certainly is a very important release because that's seriously a very popular mainstream card just because the price to performance is fantastic. We all know performing as good or better than a 2080 Ti for significantly less of the price. So I think Nvidia is trying to at least focus on this. Um, I think they would spread themselves out too thin trying to release a 20 gigabyte VRAM version and whatever threat they have from AMD clearly is not enough for them to keep this in play just to have some competition. And an interesting thing too, I do like that at least they canceled it and they're not doing like a paper launch. They could have very well said, all right, here's an RTX 3080 20 gigabyte VRAM version. Oh, nobody can get it. It's because of stock issues and just made it sort of a paper launch. That certainly would have kept a lot of people in the wings waiting for eventually when that comes out. So the fact that they very much canceled it and that's sort of the wording that I saw, it's canceled, not postponed to a later date. Seems like they completely canceled it. That seems like they're really getting their horses in order and really focusing on what's important right now. And maybe they figured that way it's gonna be the best bet to sort of keep AMD at bay as well as be able to actually manufacture the GPUs that people are buying in a number that actually satisfies a lot more people than they have done previously. It also seems like there still are plans for a 3060 Ti version. So we're gonna have to see, we really haven't heard too much about this yet, or even the 3060. That's certainly gonna be a really important GPU as well, because that starts to get in a much more affordable category of GPU sales, which a lot of gamers don't wanna spend 3080 money or even 3070. They wanna be closer down to the four, three, or even 200 something dollar range. So upcoming GPUs are certainly gonna be very important as well to round out the market. Very soon, we're gonna have not only AMD announcing their RDNA 2 GPUs, we're also gonna see the launch of the 3070. So certainly we're gonna see if things have changed from the 3080 launch, if stock issues are a little bit better, if them focusing all in on the 3070 and having delayed the launch actually helped more gamers get GPUs, and exactly what type of effect that AMD's GPUs are gonna have on Nvidia as well as the general consumer market. So so certainly we have some very exciting times ahead of us still at the end of this month. So that's going to be great to see, but still it's kind of interesting and a little bit shocking to see that two GPUs that we thought were coming now seem to be completely canceled in both the 3080 20 gigabyte version as well as the 3070 Ti. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.